What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. So, Dr. D and I have been going back and forth about a particular subject, and I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. First and foremost, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Now, here is my question. We all know your girl likes to eat, okay? I like food in general. And don't get me wrong, I can get down at a steakhouse. I love like going to funky, like eclectic places um, and like trying food. Um, you know, I, I, I like expensive places, like don't get me wrong, but I personally am also a really big fan of like the mid-tier chain restaurants. Okay, I think Chili's and Applebee's and Olive Garden, I really like those places. I don't particularly care for Red Lobster. Like actually I don't think I've been to Red Lobster since I was being dragged there as a child. But like all of those places I really like. I enjoy Red Robin. I like Outback Steakhouse. Like I like those places. And Dr. D will turn her nose up. Turn, I cannot call Dr. D and be like, hey girl, let's meet up at Olive Garden for soup salad and breadsticks. Like, I cannot do that with her. I cannot do that with her. And so I just want to know, like, am I tripping? Like, am I crazy for thinking that these places not only have like decent food, I think they actually have some like good food that like I enjoy and sometimes even crave. Like, I just, I, I just like them. I just, I really, I do. Um, and then they have like deals on like drinks and stuff. And oh, man, they're just, I, okay. I'm not going to say they're top shelf. Cause like, they're obviously not top shelf, but like Dr. D is like their Jose Cuervo. And I'm like, okay, that's being kind of rude. They are at the very least casadores. You know what I mean? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Any who's ins, that has nothing to do with what we're here to watch today. Today, we are here for another MK video. This one is r slash mildly infuriating, which is one of my favorite subreddits, even though it kind of gets my blood pressure up. I'm excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Using Microsoft Word moves an image one millimeter to the oh, left. Man. All text oh, and images God, shift. No. Yeah. Four new pages yeah. appear. Yeah. In the distance, sirens. Yeah, no, literally, it, <laughs> if you change anything, if you change anything, your whole thing is messed up, destroyed. It will cost an extra $50 to use the fridge in my hotel suite. What? The refreshment center is on a sensor. The use of the refreshment center for the personal storage will automatically incur a $50 charge. I don't want this That's future. Wild. I don't want to go to a hotel in another decade and have to pay a surcharge for every sheet. So my I will say that here in Vegas, it's like that because the fridges have stuff in them that are available for purchase. So they don't want you taking stuff out and putting stuff back in and being like, oh, well, I didn't use the stuff that you gave to me. I was just putting my own stuff in there. You like, does that make sense? They don't want you lying about whether or not you actually consumed the things that they put in there for purchase, which, but yeah, it is very annoying, but not as crazy as it seems that they're just charging you for a refrigerator space. At least not, not in my experience. Mom knows I'm engaged and living with my fiance. Okay. Hey, dearie, there is a beautiful, very nice girl here from Argentina. Should I text you her mom, picture to see no, if you like her mom, and get to know her? Okay. Leave your fiance. No. Why does your mama hate your fiance? That's awful. What is what is going on? Tina, should I text you her mom, picture to see no, if you like her mom, and get to know okay. her? Leave your fiance. No. My friend is always late to stuff. We booked for 7 p.m. It's 7.35 now. Who's that there? It's not your friend. Are they fashionably late or just don't want to see you? Is this... See, me and my friends don't have this problem because we're all always late. <laughs> oh my God. So um, when me and my friends decided to do like a little brunch uh, the same day that we were going out to celebrate Halloween... I told everybody, I was like, okay, the reservation's at 11 o'clock, so like make sure you're there, blah, 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 blah. Predictably, at like 10.50 is when I get the, okay, I'm on my way running a little bit late, right? Because it takes, it takes about like 25 to 30 minutes to get to where we're going. And 
everyone was like, yeah, I'm running a little bit late. Should get there like 11.20. Should get there by like, right? Okay. Little did they know. Little did they know. I made the reservation for 11.30. So we were all actually on time. <laughs> that's how you got to deal with friends who are late. You tell them a time that's 30 minutes or even, depending on how late your friend is, 45 to an hour earlier than when you actually want them to show up. Is this even legal? They add 99 of a cent, but it's really just another dollar. Welcome to Cheating the Taxman 101. I may be completely wrong, so roast me in the comments if I am. But essentially, depending on if you're paying cash, by charging it at 399 instead of $4, and them unable to give you that 0.1 cent of change, they keep that one cent change to themselves and therefore have a little bit of an extra profit to their sale. See, and here, when I noticed that I was just like, man, they were literally like too lazy. Like, cause everything there is just like clearly on a template, you know? I was like, man, they were too lazy to change the template. I didn't even think of this. Again, this only works when you're paying in cash. Also, by putting the three there instead of a four, it makes it come across as cheaper. Your right. lazy brain that's dead brain comprehends this as, oh, that's cheaper than normal, when all they did was take away a cent. Been asking the landlord to investigate the sagging roof in my kitchen for months now. Came home to find this I'm tonight. Hey, upset. look at that, the sagging's gone. It's no longer a sag, it's just a hole. That's a different thing, therefore I fixed it. First fancy dinner in God knows when, and got charged an economic recovery fee? Yeah. I'm not made of money either. Come on. Yeah. Okay, that has got to be illegal. You're charging your patrons for suffering something that everyone else suffered. Yep. This kindergarten homework. Have your child write at least three rhyming words for each of the words below. Okay. We have bat, pet, hip, cop, run, man, web. Big. You have fun with that. Web. Pleb. Jeb. <laughs> It's a trick question, and if your kid can't figure it out, he needs to be held back. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Boyfriend's roommate doesn't wash his pan between uses. Mmm. It's, 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 uh, it's and it's not cast Free marinade iron, sourcing. So that's not how that works. <laughs> My mom let me borrow her CD, broke it when I tried to pop it off. If I were you, I'd be feeling terrible about what I've done. Sorry, no. You broke a Linkin Park CD? Y'all, if you feel that much resistance when you're taking a disc out, stop. It's like, you're not supposed to have to work that hard. Oh my God. You know, it's not right to make jokes about your mom feeling numb about this. Uh -huh. I can't be moved to care about 15 cents, but what? Yeah, why do they have to round it up? What's, what's the purpose of that? What? I swear you what? could make a TV. It's already at 28.10. Why does it have to be round? I'm so confused. E-series just investigating all these places that add ridiculous surcharges on things. That's weird. Inconsiderate neighbors. Okay. Wait, hang on. I need someone to clarify what's going on here for me. Do you have downstairs neighbors? Because that looks like just a general front door to a two-story house. That yeah. doesn't look like a normal hallway I'm for an confused. apartment space. Either way, I'd invest in some nice heavy boots and just stomp your way down those stairs. Roommate is using my Hulu to watch the game, making me not able to watch it. I never gave him the login. There are too many videos playing at once. How could this happen? I had such a strong password. Yeah, what was it? Password. Yeah, that fits. See, and also, I don't get it because shouldn't it just give you the option to log somebody else out? That's what Netflix does when there's too many or used to do before this whole password sharing shit. Well, this is a new one out there. 3% charge. To help defray the rising costs of wages and benefits in California, a 3% charge has been added to your check. Oh. Thank you! Right, so you can just write any sort of excuse okay. on the dockets these days and it, it's just justified. I defecated my pants last week and I need a new pair, so therefore a charge of 15% has been added to your check. Thank you! I think that's easy easier though than just raising prices all around on things like it's just easier to just add the three percent and then like fix it on the back end this in my hotel room above the bed Thank you. Just went to Thailand for the holiday. Just found this in my hotel room above the bed. Scorpion. Bring a black light next time. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh no. Oh, they're like imprints. M maybe they lost their glasses and they were just on the floor for a very long time trying to find them. This All fishy right. homework word. Okay, that's a fish th 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 head thingy. Th th fin. It's fin? Right, it's got to start with an N. It's a nin, this number nin. written down by my accountant. Clearly your accountant is from another world because that is no human language. 
happened on my way to work. Okay. Damn it, Dwayne, you oh really are everywhere God. these days, aren't you? One of the drawers at my doctor's office that always annoys me. How do you... <laughs> How do you even utilize that? Well, yeah, There's only one reason you'd have a desk like this, and that is because you're an avid collector of those skateboards you can flick ah, around with your fingers. Yeah. I was supposed to get $36 in tips. I only got 27 because... A hospitality that doesn't respect its employees? I would... I, what? 27 Yeah. Where's the rest of your money? Young girl. Morning shift. <laughs> I'm not getting my food, am I? Hey, uh, where are you going? Do you have another order? I'm not trying to be rude or anything. You've just had my food for a while and seem to be headed in the opposite direction. Oh god, to be dealing with this at close to midnight yeah. as well. I don't care if that delivery driver's had a bad day, they are getting reported. So, I have a couple of a couple different stories. Okay, first of all, the most recent one was... Uh, Chavez and I decided to order in Raisin Cane's because um, we were both pretty tired and neither one of us felt like driving there because it was like, a, it's like a 15 minute drive. Then you wait in the, th we just didn't feel like being out of the house for like that long. We were just trying to chill, play some Call of Duty, have a good time. So we decided to order the Raisin Cane's and um, freaking the guy, <laughs> the guy freaking brought us one of our meals and just like left with the other one. And so then Chavez messaged him and was like, hey, do you have the other meal? And he was like, if you're short, take it up with the restaurant. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I fully understand, you know, DoorDash, you know, their job is to deliver the food, whatever, whatever. But like, isn't part of that making sure that like the food that's ordered is there, right? But also we were pretty sure he just like dipped out with our food. Like he just decided to eat the other meal because he knows that DoorDash is just gonna refund us for it, you know, like if we complain, but it was just very annoying. It was very annoying. Also, when I went to Miami last year, it was super late at night and I decided I wanted pizza, which, in Vegas, if I want a pizza at midnight, that is not hard to get. But in Miami, apparently it is very difficult to find pizza places that are open around midnight. So I ordered my pizza, then I fall asleep in bed because it was mad late and I was more than a little tipsy. And I woke up, it was like 1.30 and like, I hadn't gotten a call or anything. And I tried to go on DoorDash and DoorDash was broken. <laughs> DoorDash was broken so that I couldn't get my pizza. I was so upset, y'all. When I, I was so upset, like literally the whole system like crashed. And so I couldn't get my pizza and they like refunded me and gave me like extra money and stuff. But like at the time I was just like so tired and like so drunk. And I was just like, I just want my pizza and I cried. So that's it. That's what happened to me. Anyway, DoorDash is both a blessing and an inconvenience. Ordered from Instacart for the first time, and this is how the chicken came. Is it a live chicken? <laughs> what? <laughs> just, what? They just threw it in there? Oh, no. Okay, it, it was in the, the packaging. Package. It fell out. Okay, that's not as ridiculous, but still frustrating. When United Airlines can't or won't tell a customer where their missing luggage is. I just like everyone to know that United has lost track of my bag and is lying about it. My Apple AirTag shows it has been sitting in a residential apartment complex for over a day. But out back by the dumpsters, I have found other emptied United Airlines bags. What? Sometimes I wish you could just put like, a little camera on your luggage and just what? see where it goes. What wonderful adventure did you go on today, Mr. Suitcase? DoorDash fees are out of control. This is very oh true. My God. Oh, yeah. but hey, you got 66 cents off. That, that makes it all worth it. Roommate crashed my car while borrowing it to go to work, then refuses to pay anything unless I let her continue to drive it in the future. Do you have any proof that she asked to drive it? Because, you know, technically you could then just say that she stole it. I was going to say, if you don't take that girl to court, what are you talking about? Take her to court and kick her out. Like, what what is even being discussed? And it's not like, I thought it was gonna be like a little dent or something. She crashed the out of your car. Like she crashed the hell, like what was she doing? Does she think she's Lightning McQueen? I'm like, what? 
My motives may be toxic, but they're fun. This person completely blocking access to my driveway. Tow them, tow them, tow them, tow them, tow them, tow them, tow them. Picked up my car from the dealership and all the coins were gone except the pennies. Oh, thanks for the free life lesson. Wow. Take a photo of everything within your possession before you give it to someone else who is servicing it. Apparently, US Customs cannot comprehend the sealed video game market. They broke the acrylic holder, ripped and threw out the seal, and sliced the front of the box off. This was oh a $3,000 game! Ooh. I mean, sure, surely you can sue. Please tell me you can sue. This is what the highest place of our planet looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I am so glad I have no aspiration no. to climb that thing. <laughs> See, kids, sometimes it's good not to stand Could out. It be, be a generic me, mountain in the world. Because if you're the tallest, you get sh on. Huh. Literally, there is so much poop on that mountain. No, seriously, like, it melts occasionally, and the poop gets in the water, and that gets into the waterways, that gets into all the rivers. It ruins the local ecosystem. What? In response to a request to have a yearbook quote as, Please help, I'm trapped in a yearbook factory. Clearly a funny little joke, meant to be lighthearted, no serious political connotations behind it. I read this out loud to the previous yearbook teacher to get his perspective, and he also found it insulting. Friesens would also find this insulting as many enjoy their jobs and do not feel trapped. Unfortunately, the yearbook team doesn't have the time to go through a third quote from you, so we will go with a generic one. Feel free to not purchase a book. Like, damn, you uh, you must really love your yearbooks. Right, like, are you Excuse okay? Excuse me? Dear guest, please be advised that connecting any device to the television via the HDMI ports will cause the entire hotel system to crash? Therefore, we must ask that you only use Chromecast built in to cast from your device and do not connect any other device throughout your stay. But th th what's the point of me bringing my PS5? That sounds fake. That sounds fake. Monsters! These like farming posts. I suffered a stroke, but my mom I thinks I'm still beautiful. Them. Do I you hate agree? Them. I hate a them. thousand times, yes! I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. People do it with like babies and people with disabilities too. Oh my god, it just makes me so mad. It just makes me so freaking mad. And it makes me madder still when I see that people I know have liked it. Like, what is wrong with you? What it like? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skittin' lit.